What if I told you that there's a single molecule in your body right now that controls your blood pressure, your energy levels, your brain function, and your sexual health, but by age 40, you've lost 50% of your ability to make it. And here's the kicker. Most doctors never test for it. Most people have never heard of it. And you're probably destroying it every single morning without even knowing. I'm Dr. Anthony Balduzzi, and today we're talking about nitric oxide, the molecule that Nobel Prize winners say could be the most important discovery in cardiovascular medicine ever. By the end of this video, you're gonna understand why your cold hands and feet aren't just symptoms of getting older, how your morning routine might be sabotaging your cardiovascular health, and a simple science-backed strategies, including specific foods, and a four minute breathing technique that can literally reverse vascular aging and help you have better blood flow, energy, and circulation. Plus, I'm gonna show you how you can test your own nitric oxide levels in under 10 seconds right at home using these test strips from Berkeley Life. No blood draw, no doctor's visit. All right, let's break this down. Nitric oxide, written as NO, is literally one nitrogen atom bonded to one oxygen atom. That's it, a super simple molecule. But here's what makes it so fascinating. It's a gas, and it only lasts for two to three milliseconds in your body before it disappears. Gone, just like that. And like that, he's gone. But in those two to three milliseconds, it triggers a cascade of reactions that literally keeps you alive, that increases your energy. Think of your blood vessels like a garden hose. When nitric oxide is released by the cells that line your blood vessels, called endothelial cells, it signals the smooth muscle around those vessels to relax and open up. The vessels dilate, blood flows easier, oxygen and nutrients get delivered to every cell in your body. When you don't have nitric oxide, that garden hose stays kinked and tight, blood pressure goes up, circulation drops, and that's just the beginning. Because nitric oxide isn't just about blood flow, it's actually a neurotransmitter in your brain too. It also helps your immune system fight off viruses and bacteria. It's also involved in muscle recovery, energy production in your mitochondria, and yes, sexual function in both men and women. One molecule, total body health. That's why three scientists won the Nobel Prize in 1998 for discovering exactly how it works. Now, here's where this gets personal for everyone watching this video. Look at this. By age 30, your nitric oxide production starts declining rapidly, about 10 to 12% loss per decade. By 40, you've lost half of what you had in your 20s. And I don't think it's a coincidence that the 40s are when most people really start feeling older, right? Erectile dysfunction affects 50% of men over 40. High blood pressure affects two out of three Americans. Chronic fatigue, brain fog, cold hands and feet, exercise intolerance. These aren't just symptoms of normal aging, these are symptoms of nitric oxide deficiency. And here's what the research actually shows. The loss of nitric oxide production is the earliest event in the development of cardiovascular disease. Not cholesterol, not inflammation, those come after. See, when your endothelial cells can't make nitric oxide, your blood vessels become like Velcro. Inflammatory cells stick, plaque forms, blood pressure rises. But here's the good news. This decline is not inevitable. We can measure it and we can fix it. So let's talk about testing because you can't improve what you don't actually measure. Now, nitric oxide itself is nearly impossible to measure directly in your blood because it disappears in milliseconds. But what we can measure is something called salivary nitrite, which is a direct indicator of your body's ability to produce nitric oxide. Here's exactly how it works. When you eat nitrate-rich foods, those nitrates get concentrated in your saliva, and bacteria that live on the back of your tongue convert that nitrate into nitrite and then that nitrite eventually becomes nitric oxide. So by testing nitrite in your saliva, we get a real-time snapshot of your body's ability to produce nitric oxide. And this is where Berkeley Life has created something really elegant. These test strips, they're FDA cleared by the way, work in about 10 seconds. You place the strip on your tongue, saliva side down for about five seconds. Then you fold the strip in half so the two pads touch, 
You separate them and watch what color it turns, and then compare that color to the chart on the bottle. Pink means that you're producing nitric oxide. White or very pale means that you're deficient. And what I love about this is the immediate feedback you can get. You can test first thing in the morning, when you're typically in the lowest, and then test again 90 minutes after taking a nitric oxide supplement or eating nitrate-rich foods to see if your interventions are actually working. You don't have to do any guesswork here. It's like having a blood pressure cuff, but for your vascular health at a cellular level. And for anyone serious about longevity and performance, this is data you definitely want to have. All right, before we get to solutions, we need to talk about what's sabotaging your nitric oxide production right now. Number one, antiseptic mouthwash. Things like Listerine. And I know, I know, you've been told your whole life to use mouthwash for oral health, but here's what the new research actually shows. When you use antiseptic mouthwash, you're literally killing the nitrate-reducing bacteria on your tongue. The good guys, they get killed by mouthwash, the ones that convert those nitrates into nitric oxide. And studies show that just seven days of mouthwash can increase blood pressure by up to 26 points in some people. 26 points, that's enough to make someone hypertensive from mouthwash. Number two, fluoride toothpaste. Fluoride is also an antiseptic. It disrupts your oral microbiome in the same way, so switch to fluoride-free toothpaste. I've been using it for over two decades. Number three, antacids and proton pump inhibitors. Think Prilosec, Nexium. Look, you need stomach acid to convert dietary nitrites into nitric oxide. When you suppress your acid production, you shut down this pathway entirely. Number four, high sugar and high glycemic foods. Sugar literally sticks to the enzyme that makes nitric oxide and prevents it from working. It's called glycation and we do not want this happening. Number five, mouth breathing. When you breathe through your mouth, especially during sleep, you're bypassing the nasal passages where nitric oxide is produced. Plus, you're drying out your mouth and disrupting your oral microbiome, just like we talked about. So if you're using mouthwash every morning, taking antacids, eating a high sugar diet, and mouth breathing at night, you're basically doing everything possible to destroy your natural nitric oxide production. And I know so many unhealthy people that fall in this category. Okay, now for the good stuff. How do we fix this? How do we boost nitric oxide production naturally? Strategy number one, eat your greens, specifically these ones. Number one, arugula, my favorite by far. Two, spinach, beets and beetroot, celery, lettuce, and rhubarb. And here's a pro tip. When you eat these foods or blend them into a smoothie, don't just chuck it down, really chew them. Swish them around your mouth. Remember, the nitrate-reducing bacteria are on your tongue. You need to give them time to be in contact with these nitrates for this strategy to work. Number two, tongue scraping. This may sound counterintuitive, but tongue scraping one to two times a day actually increases the diversity of the nitrate-reducing bacteria. Think of it like tilling the soil before planting. Just don't combine it with antiseptic mouthwash. That is a terrible combination. Strategy three, nasal breathing. Your sinuses produce nitric oxide. When you breathe through your nose, you're delivering that nitric oxide directly into your lungs, which improves whole body oxygen uptake. Here's a technique called the four, seven, eight breath. Breathe in through your nose for four counts. Hold for seven counts. This creates an oxygen deficit. And then exhale through pursed lips for eight counts. Do this three times in a row. You'll feel more centered. Your blood pressure will literally drop and you're generating nitric oxide just from breathing, which is a hugely overlooked aspect of health. Strategy four, rebounding. This one is fascinating. Just three minutes of bouncing on a rebounder or a mini trampoline in the morning stimulates nitric oxide production through the mechanical stress on your blood vessels. The calf contractions in particular are key. They create a pumping action that signals your endothelial cells to make more nitric oxide. Strategy five, sunlight exposure. UV light actually releases nitric oxide that's stored in your skin. 20 to 30 minutes of direct sunlight daily in the afternoon, not through a window, can significantly boost your NO levels. And infrared light works too, which is one reason why red light therapy and infrared saunas are so beneficial. Strategy six, exercise. This is non-negotiable. Exercise literally creates a sheer stress on your blood vessels, which activates the nitric oxide synthase enzyme 
Just 20 to 30 minutes of moderate exercise daily gives you this effect. And here's the beautiful thing. All these strategies work synergistically. You're not just boosting nitric oxide, you're supporting your body's entire system that produces it, along with your mitochondria, your metabolism, and all the things that make you feel fantastic. Now let's talk about supplements, because this is where things can get a little confusing. You've probably seen nitric oxide boosters with L-arginine or L-citrulline. These are amino acids that in theory should boost nitric oxide production, but here's the problem. They only work if your nitric oxide synthase enzyme is functioning properly. And if you're over 40, or you have endothelial dysfunction, or if you have certain genetic variations, like MTHFR mutations, that enzyme is often broken. It's like pouring gas into a car with a blown engine. The fuel isn't the problem, the engine is. This is why dietary nitrate pathway, eating those nitrates is so powerful. It bypasses that broken enzyme entirely. This is one reason I love Berkeley Life's NO Foundation Supplement, because it uses fermented beetroot and other plant-based nitrates, along with cofactors like vitamin C, B1, B12, and magnesium to support that conversion pathway. So you're giving the body the raw materials it needs in a form it can actually use regardless of your age or your enzyme function. They also make a lozenge and a gum that can generate nitric oxide directly in your mouth and on your tongue, which is brilliant pre-workout or when you want an immediate boost in blood flow like times in the bedroom. The key thing is you want supplements that follow the dietary nitrate pathway, not the arginine pathway. And you want to be able to test whether they're actually working, which is why having those test strips is so valuable. So what can you actually expect when you optimize your nitric oxide? One, more energy. Most people notice this first. Better mitochondrial function means you have more ATP production. You're literally making more cellular energy. Two, better blood pressure. Studies show 10 to 15 point reductions in systolic blood pressure within 30 days. Three, cognitive function. Better blood flow to the brain means better focus, better memory, more mental clarity. This is huge for preventing cognitive decline. Number four, better sexual function. Improved blood flow to the sexual organs is often one of the first things that people notice. Number five, exercise performance. Better oxygen delivery, less lactic acid buildup, faster recovery, and better pumps. And number six, circulation. No more cold hands and feet, and even better wound healing. And long term, you're preventing the vascular aging that leads to heart disease, strokes, dementia, and metabolic dysfunction. This isn't just about adding years to your life, though nitric oxide does do that, it's about adding life to your years because you're fundamentally improving circulation and blood flow, which is the force of life. Look, I get it. There's a lot of information out there and a lot of supplements that are promising miracles and a lot of conflicting advice. But nitric oxide isn't a trend. It's fundamental biology. It's a Nobel Prize winning scientifically backed discovery and it's something that you can measure, track, and optimize starting today. Because here's what I've learned after all my years in practice. Your body wants to heal. Your body wants to function optimally. You just have to give it the right inputs and nitrates in your mouth are key for your health. If you found this video valuable, please hit that like button and subscribe as well. It takes you two seconds to do that and it helps my YouTube channel so much and I truly appreciate you for doing that. Did you learn something new about nitric oxide today? If so, drop me a comment below and let me know your biggest takeaways. And have you ever tested your levels? Do you plan on doing this? And what symptoms with your health might you be dealing with that might have a basis in blood flow and circulation? Also, check out the links in the description for the Berkeley Life test strips that I've talked about and their foundational supplements. I've also linked to some of the key studies I referenced throughout this video. I'm Dr. Anthony Balduzzi signing off. Take care of your nitric oxide and it'll take care of you. I'll see you in the next video, my friend.